One of the things that I get asked all the time is about standing up in the kayak and fishing lake. Man, I can't believe you stand up in that thing. But like, so here's a perfect example. I'm in the wilderness systems attack. I got one foot on the deck. I got the other foot up on the gunnel and I'm literally pushing on that pontoon. You see a little bit of wobble. That's what's called initial stability. So the boat has to have some, you know, unwetted surface so that it produces less drag. But once you push it over and it gets to that chime, which is that little line right there, it really engages and just locks in. If you're worried about getting into kayak fishing because you don't want to sit down all the time and you don't think that standing you know is a really good option like I said once that boat gets to one side it just really sticks so you're gonna have a little bit of initial instability meaning the boat will rock but once you put a little bit of weight on one foot it really digs in and that pontoon locks and you've got stability the reason that the boat is what they call initially unstable is so that there's less wetted surface lowers the coefficient of friction which is a fancy term for drag and it makes the boat paddle better so you got a boat that's fast and paddles well but still has stability i can stand and fish in this boat all day long uh, it performs a lot like a stand-up paddle board uh, when the wind's really bad and i don't have my power pole i just lay everything down and that way there's nothing in the back to weather vane the kayak and it's such a low profile it cuts through the wind great so if you're worried about standing and fishing don't uh, it's a great way to engage your core it actually you know gives you some you know a slight kind of uh, core tightening workout pretty much all day long but it's not fatiguing it's not like you're going to go home and, and you know and feel like you've worked out it's just a great way to get outside it's a great way to have better visibility longer casting distance and more leverage when you set the hook so if worrying about standing up in a kayak is holding you back don't because even as big as i am and a lot of the modern fishing kayaks i can stand on one side so they're plenty stable <laughs>